If you observe the respir respiring animals, animals which are undergoing respiration, respiration is a mechanism where the energy trapped in carbon-rich molecule, that is the glucose, is released. The energy present inside the glucose is released, it is called respiration. Now this happens in two methods in, a, in the living organisms. In most of the animals you see aerobic respiration. But there are organisms where you will see anaerobic respiration. In aerobic respiration, the glucose molecules undergoes oxidation. So it will combine with oxygen to produce energy. But in anaerobic respiration, there is no utilization of oxygen. So that means without utilizing oxygen, the energy trapped inside that glucose molecules is released. The amount of energy released, however, is very less. 2 ATP molecule for one glucose molecule. But in aerobic respiration, for one glucose molecule, we are getting 36 ATP molecules. So that means large amount of energy is actually released from glucose molecules in aerobic respiration. Anaerobic respiration occurs in yeast, bacteria, and also some of our skeletal muscles, and also red blood cells of human being. In case of human RBC, there is no mitochondria. So there is no chance of aerobic respiration. Red blood cells themselves are anaerobic. And our skeletal muscles, our skeletal muscles generally they go for aerobic respiration, but under certain conditions. That means when we are trying to do quick work and we are trying to get quick energy, under that conditions when, when the energy which is already present inside the muscle is exhausted, when the aerobic respiration is not able to meet the demands of the muscle, under that condition, generally we go for the, the skeletal muscle goes for anaerobic respiration to produce quick energy. So in the second reaction there, you can see the, the anaerobic respiration that occurs inside skeletal muscles. In that process, glucose will produce energy, small quantity, two ATP molecules only is released. But as a byproduct, lactic acid is produced. This is lactic acid. Accumulation of lactic acid causes fatigue. Now, when you are trying to do uh, exercise quickly, our skeletal muscles gradually get exhausted quickly with accumulation of lactic acid and gradually with more lactic acid accumulation, the muscles undergoes a complete fatigue. There comes a time when muscle is not responding at all. Under that condition, if I give rest, the lactic acid is removed and again the muscle is ready for the fresh bout of contraction. In case of yeast, bacteria, certain parasites like Ascaris, Tinea solium, uh, when they are not getting oxygen in their environment, they will go for anaerobic respiration, I mean the first reaction. So the glucose is broken down to produce energy, again a small quantity of energy. In that process, carbon dioxide is released, ethanol or ethyl alcohol is produced. In any case, in anaerobic respiration, there is only two ATP molecules synthesized when a glucose is broken down. But if you see, most of the organisms, including human being, most of the plants, most of the animals, which are, uh, which are having capacity to utilize oxygen, so they utilize oxygen, and they oxidize the glucose, oxidize the glucose, and it is broken down to produce a lot of energy. 36 ATP molecules are synthesized. So glucose is broken down into carbon dioxide and water. In that process, a huge amount of energy is produced when compared to that, several times more quantity of ATP is synthesized in aerobic respiration in aerobes.